this kale is about, let's see, it was planted back in February. And this is probably the fourth growing of it. You can see how it regenerates um, itself. It grows up from the middle. And I've taken several um, stalks and cuttings of it and it's really bitter now. It's so hot and it's also not growing as large as it did in the winter time. But yeah, it's in a, a little container. And I um, also did butter crunch lettuce. Back there is the sage. And I mean, it's just a, an herb spice, same as basil. This basil's bolting, and I hope I get some seeds from it. And these are more purple tomatoes that I've planted in a seed tray. This is not cabbage, this is thyme. And it stayed in that solo cup. I cut this purple basil the other day. Um, it's mixed in with a few uh, tomato cuttings um, from a yellow pear tomato. Um, and I just put it in about an inch of water in a bucket that has a, a leak just above the inch mark. And yeah, this basil is going to wait until I get a little bit more to harvest and then I'm going to dehydrate it. I want to show the difference between the 50 cent Black Beauty squash, which is there. This one's actually got several little babies on it. This is the 50 cent one, which kind of curled up at the bottom and moved up in the cage, you know, in a circle. And this one kind of grew. It grew straight up. And that's the $3 one. So the 50 cent one has, I don't know, and it could just be the way that it turned in the thing, and both of them could do fine. But I've harvested a bunch off of both of them. So they're almost the same, I think. Laundry basket. Hula hoop. This squash is producing butternut. Let's see, there's one in there now. And then, of course, my cheap dollar store hamper. He's growing tons of bell peppers, tons of them. That watermelon has gone crazy on that side with vine. There's a few watermelon there, which I'll show. And then this one also. 20 cent yellow pear tomatoes. They'll eventually catch up. There's lots of flowers on them. Three dollar yellow pear tomatoes. And these tomatoes are mixed in with lemon starburst peppers. And they're still pretty voracious. This is a cactus that the rooster garden gave us. And 
um, when he gave it to us, none of these, none of these little pieces were on there. So here we go. This is the, this is the Iraqi watermelon, the Alibaba that was in the mulch. And it's got a few little babies on it. One, two, I'm trying to follow up one single vine out. It's kind of hard to do. Looks like two might be it. And then, of course, Big Papa over here. Big Papa. Now, this guy hasn't been weighed. But he's pretty big. I mean, he's round. He's not very oval. He's he's pretty round, like all the Alibabas that I've, I've seen in pictures. And then we've got the one that seems to have every single melon cross-pollinated. <laughs> uh, this one here, these guys, these leaves here, are kind of, you know, shielding him. Ed actually put him underneath the vine because when it gets really hot out, the leaves leave it exposed. Look at that. There's a leaf cutter on there. Look at that guy. Where are we taking him? Oh no, where's he going? He's squirming. He's kicking. Here, eat these leaves. That's right, nibble at him, little fish. Nibble at him. They're like a camera. Hide. He took a bite of him, though. There's a few larger little fish down there that can actually take that thing whole. They're not coming up because they're not hungry. And then the Batik Samara. Right there. Can you see that? There's a baby melon. Anyway, um, Batik Samara here has a bunch of little secrets. Oops, I'm putting my hand on fertilizer. There's one secret. There's one on the ground. There's two. I don't know if you can see them. There's two right there. And then there's one on the other side, which I'll have to pretty much step on a leaf right now. I need to move stuff around. Don't I, Ant? Hey, Ant, where are you going? I'm going to go down and water trees this morning. That looks like a lot of fun, Ant. Yeah, I feel like Gunga Den dragging the water around. Gunga Den? Isn't that who it was? Did to bring the water or something? I don't know. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, well, anyway. I guess I'm not as well read as I thought. Why don't you sing your watering song? What? Sing your watering song. My name is Ed and I'm watering trees. My name is Ed and I'm watering trees. Sing that song. <laughs> Everybody knows okra when they see it. And a lot of this okra has been taken in. Look at that. The okra never gets treated with anything. Not neem oil. Just whatever. Bugs we are eat too, right? That's what I heard. I heard the bugs have to eat too. There's some baby okra way over there. But yeah, the okra is the one thing that's never treated, not even with fungicide. And you can tell. 
They have been eating and eating and eating it. And then lima beans. You can also tell where the water is kind of not flowing all the way down. Yeah, you can because the water usually gets absorbed right here. These are way taller than those. Most of the purple hole peas are gone. There's some new flowers on them though. They're definitely coming back. Does anybody know what this plant is? These things literally look like little green paper lanterns with purple outlines on them. There's another one over here. Does anybody know?